The CEO and two top executives of Resolute Mining have been detained by government officials in Mali. They attended a meeting on Friday about the tax paid by the gold mine and didn't leave. The company said the employees are being treated well and continue to receive support from embassies and consulates. The mine is part owned by the West African state, which was subject to a military coup in 2021. Lobby groups here often rail about the high cost of doing business in Australia, but one of the benefits is our stable political environment. The stock market shifted down today but remains near its frothiest highs. While the value of iron ore fell because investors think China's latest attempt at stimulating the economy isn't enough and they won't need as much steel to build stuff. US markets were near record highs when they closed on Friday, others not as buoyant. And our dollar drew strength from its weekend break, up against all major currencies. Bitcoin is now above 80,000 US dollars, with belief that a Trump victory in the US presidential race is good news for cryptocurrencies. Since then, there hasn't been the instability many feared. This is the volatility index. It's kind of a heart monitor for trading and it's fallen. Probably of more note is that one day spike in August, a bigger 24 hour scare than happened in the global financial crisis or the start of the COVID pandemic. Months on, what caused it remains a mystery. It's probably the overarching story of the stock market, really. No one knows. And that's finance.